Welcome to Lines to Go installation videos. Today we will be installing stainless steel brake lines on a 2004 Jeep Wrangler using Lines to Go part number BLJ 105 SS. While this particular installation is on a 2004 Jeep Wrangler, this set of lines will also work on the following year, make, and models as shown in your screen now. Lines to go lines are made using original equipment end forms and fittings that are CNC bent for an easy and precise installation. We have also upgraded to stainless steel braided Teflon hoses for rust protection and to prevent surface fouling. These have an unlimited shelf life and anti-static PTFE liner. This set of lines to go lines are made using 304L stainless steel for rust resistance that exceeds OEM standards. Tech tip. Disconnect the battery before working on a vehicle to reduce the risk of shorting out the battery on tools or lines. Lines to go lines are made with a sectional design for easier installation. We also use color coded unions on our sectioned lines. Just match the colors at the connections. Tools required 10mm, 13mm, 14mm, 18mm, and 19mm sockets and ratchet. Half inch 10mm, 12mm, 13mm, and 14mm wrenches flat blade screwdriver, pliers and cutting pliers, drain pan, a sharp knife, jack and jack stands. The level of difficulty for this installation is considered to be easy. Start by disconnecting the battery using a half inch wrench. Using a 12 mm wrench, remove both threaded fittings from the master cylinder. If the fittings are seized to the lines, it may be easier to cut the lines at the fittings using a pair of cutting pliers. Next, remove all of the threaded fittings from the proportioning valve located below the master cylinder using a 12mm, 13mm, and 14mm wrench. Remove the two plastic clips located below the proportioning valve. Raise and support the vehicle and remove all four wheels using a 19mm socket. Using a flat blade screwdriver or a pair of pliers, remove both front rubber splash guards. Remove the threaded fitting from the left front flex hose using a 12mm wrench. Using a pair of cutting pliers, cut the right front line at the left front flex hose. Remove both sections of line from the vehicle. Using a 10mm socket, remove the four bolts securing the plastic cover at the front of the vehicle and remove the plastic cover. Using a flat blade screwdriver, remove the right front line from the plastic clips along the frame. Cut the right front line in front of the steering box using a pair of cutting pliers. Remove the center section of the right front line from the vehicle. Using a 12mm wrench, remove the threaded fitting from the right front flex hose and remove the remaining section of the right front line from the vehicle. Next, we will need to remove the front section of the metal lower cover. Use an 18mm socket to remove both front bolts and a 13mm socket to remove the rear bolts.
Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the rear extension line from the plastic clips located along the driver side frame. Using a 10mm wrench, remove the threaded fitting from the rear flex hose. Remove the rear extension line from the vehicle. At the rear axle, cut the left rear axle line at the flex hose. Use a 10 mm wrench to remove both threaded fittings from the rear center union. Cut the right rear axle line at the flex hose. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the two bolts securing the bracket over the right rear axle line. Remove both rear axle lines from the vehicle. To begin the installation of your new stainless steel lines to go brake lines, start by installing the primary line labeled 01. Start the threaded fitting into the rear port of the master cylinder and the driver's side rear port of the proportioning valve. Tighten both fittings using a 12mm and a 14mm wrench. Next, install a secondary line labeled 02 into position. Start the threaded fittings into the front port in the master cylinder and the driver's side front port in the proportioning valve. Tighten both fittings using a 12mm and a 14mm wrench. Next, install the first section of the right front line labeled 04A into position. and secure it into the plastic clips along the frame. Start the threaded fitting into the rear port in the proportioning valve and tighten using a 14 mm wrench. Next, install the second section of the right front line labeled 04B into position. Secured into the plastic clips along the frame. Start the threaded fitting into the right front flex hose and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Start the threaded union at the front of the vehicle noting the lines to go color coded connections and tighten using a 12 mm and a 14 mm wrench. Next, install the left front lines to go brake line labeled 03 into position. Start the threaded fitting into the left front flex hose and also at the passenger side rear port in the proportioning valve. Tighten the fitting in the proportioning valve using a 14 mm wrench and the fitting in the flex hose using a 10 mm wrench. Next, install the rear extension line labeled 05 into position and secure it into the plastic clips along the frame. Start the front threaded fitting into the passenger side front port in the proportioning valve and tighten using a 14 mm wrench. Start the rear threaded fitting into the rear flex hose and tighten using a 10 mm wrench. Replace the plastic clips located below the proportioning valve. 
Next, we will need to remove both rear flex hoses. Start by removing the banjo bolt securing the flex hose to the caliper using a 14mm socket. Using a pair of pliers, remove the clip securing the other end of the flex hose and remove it from the vehicle. Install your new flex hose labeled 7331-01 into position and secure one end using the metal clip and the other end using the banjo bolt with a copper washer on either side of the hose fitting. Tighten the bolt using a 14mm socket. Repeat these steps to replace the right rear brake hose labeled 7344-01. Next install the left rear lines to go axle line labeled 06A into position. Start the threaded fitting into the left rear flex hose and the rear flex union. Tighten both fittings using a 14mm wrench. Now install the right rear axle line labeled 06B into position. Start the threaded fittings into the rear flex union and at the right rear flex hose. Tighten the fitting in the rear flex union using a 14mm wrench and the fitting in the flex hose using a 10mm wrench. Use a sharp knife to cut the rubber sleeve off of the old right rear axle line. Install the rubber sleeve onto the new lines to go right rear axle line and replace the metal bracket. Secure the bracket using a 10mm socket. Next, replace the metal lower cover using a 13mm socket to tighten the rear bolts and an 18mm socket to tighten the front bolts. Replace the plastic cover at the front of the vehicle and secure it using a 10mm socket. Replace the rubber splash guards and secure them using the push clips. Using a 10mm wrench, bleed all four wheels, making sure to keep the master cylinder reservoir topped up. Replace all four wheels in torque to spec using a 19mm socket. Reconnect the battery using a half inch wrench. This concludes the installation of stainless steel brake lines on a 2004 Jeep Wrangler using lines to go part number BLJ 105 SS. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or would like to purchase the lines you saw today, please call us at 1 855 781 5992. Email us at info at lines to go.com or check out our website link below. And don't forget to take advantage of our free two day shipping. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and we will see you on our next video.